Hi everyone and welcome to the Poke Plateau. Today we're going to take a look at the 6 inch articulated soy coon figure from Jazzware. The figure is in the latest wave of this series, uh, I believe it's wave 5, and this series comes with soy coon, Mewtwo, and Tyranitar. As always, we're going to take a look at the four categories of the figure, the paint application, the articulation, the accessories, and the molding. So let's take a look at the new figure. So, uh, like only one other figure from before, um, this is the second four-legged figure that Jazzwares has released. Uh, the first being Samurott, which you can take a look up above. Um, I really wanted to like this figure. I, I really wanted to like this figure, and but I'm, I'm, I'll get into why I'm, I'm not a big fan. So first off, since since uh, we're going to go into those four points, let's get accessories out of the way, since it's really this simple. It's this uh, piece of plastic that is attached to Soycoon. That's it. Uh, nothing really else. The only other thing is the is the stand that comes with all of the other figures, um, which I'll get into that in a bit. But this thing is so pointless. Uh, I guess it's to prop up the ribbons or what I call the ribbons, uh, Soycoon's tail, but. You can see they kind of already stand on their own. Um, don't know why, but like I, I believe mine's already kind of cracked. Yeah, like right there. You can kind of tell. It's already kind of cracked right there. And that's just from from removing it every now and then. So it, I've only got I've only had this for about two days. <laughs> the accessory is already the the one accessory is already broken. Uh, paint application is perfect. There's nothing really to write home about it. Uh, it looks like soy coons. It looks like a soy coon. Like it. It look it's perfect. Like there's nothing really to to write home about it. Like I said, I've said it three times. <laughs> the molding is good too. Um, very very well done. You know, it, it very much feels like a legendary, if that makes sense. Um, the articulation's pretty bad. Uh, I, I, had, I had said during our Samurott review that the Samurott was pretty good articulation, but Samurott, I'm looking over there because that's where it is. The Samurott has a wide front flippers and they're very well articulated because Samurott uses the uh, the razor shell uh, attack, and that's that's one of its its primary features is having the razor shell. Uh, with not really any accessories for Soycoon, whether it's like a laser beam or anything, there's there's really not much there's really not much to do about this figure. It it, it looks fine. It, it looks it looks like a Soycoon, um, but it's a very basic figure there's not a lot of articulation like you can you can kind of put the soy coon down a little bit you know um but really that's it i actually almost broke these back legs because the uh the hinge joint doesn't go any further than this up front if you go any further it'll start breaking the leg but these can go back pretty far so the only real stance you can leave soy coon in is in a crouching stance or a leaping stance and that's really it you know and and uh when this was first announced i was hoping that these ribbons this is the tail uh was similar to articuno's tail and that you can kind of play with it and you know mold it any way you like but that's not the case with soycoon soycoon these things are are very much you you mess with them they're going to break i've tried playing with them a little bit and they very much almost break every time i've tried to mess with them um <laughs> it's just how it is like i kind of knew going in that this figure was not going to be very well articulated it's a very nice figure uh, especially for 20 bucks but lack of articulation is kind of killing it even even the birds had better articulation and they don't they don't really <laughs> they don't have hands they don't they they only have wings uh this part is really weird it's whatever i don't know what you call this part for soy coon 
I always referred to it as a cape because it was kind of you know head you know headdress whatever you want to call it this is like a soft plastic it's not like eva foam it's not foam but it's it's a soft plastic and it feels like it's like a like squeezable and again not really sure why they went with that because you can you can you can see that i'm kind of messing with it it just feels weird is it, if it was squishy it'd be kind of cool because it, it's just it's a regression for me, it, it really is, in terms of the line. Um, it's it's a very nice figure. If, a so if you're a Soikun fan, it's probably one of the things you're, you're li really looking forward to, and you're probably going to love it. But me, not really much as a Soikun fan. I'd love a Lugia. <laughs> I'd really love a Lugia in this line, but the Lugia would have to be a, a lot more massive than, than the 6-inch the six inch ones. Um, so like I said, paint application is great. Uh, the accessories are kind of piss poor. Uh, the molding's fine, but the articulation is to be lacking. But I, I also think that just because it's Soikun, this thing gets in the way of a lot of articulation. Like you can't have like a full range of motion with the the hip hip. It's not really a hip. This stomach part because you have this head in the way, and even then it doesn't go that far. So it's really just a lack of. It, it's a it, it's a weird choice for Pokemon. Um, I get why Soikun's a very very popular Pokemon, but it's a very weird choice because the Legendary Beasts just they're not very good for an articulated figure. So all in all, it's pretty good for a twenty dollar figure, as all of them really are. They're you're not going to break the bank. Uh, but really, if you are not a Soikun fan, I really can't recommend it. It's the articulation kills me, it kills it for me. Uh, just because I would have liked a really cool range of motion, if you're you're able to put it down like a like a dog and and uh, you know make it kind of menacing looking up. And so you, you, there's not a lot of there's not a lot of uh, ways you can set the figure up. It's either you're leaping or you're landing from a leap, and that kind of misses the entire point of the figures they're supposed to be articulated because you can you can pose them however you want um, and create little uh scenes if you will to to play around with each other like i have i have above i have a uh, charizard going to strike greninja with greninja powering up a water shuriken and uh, like like a like a kame, kamehameha and it, it's so much fun but Suikun with the lack of accessories and the lack of articulation period it's just something i can't recommend and if you like this video please like share and subscribe to keep up to date with all of our latest content whenever we go live on friday at 7 p.m take care guys see you next time